Alrighty, home stretch. Let's get it over with. Let's get done. Guys, thanks for returning and catching this last video. It's, it's gotta be the last video. I don't wanna do four. Here we go. Alright, next is my personal favorite. I remember discovering this movie. It was a blind buy. I got it on DVD. And so it's an upgrade, and that's Plagueers. <laughs> this is a fun movie. Uh, one of my favorite uh, sci-fi horrors to come out in, I want to say, recent years. Uh, how old is this now? Oh, wait. Okay, so it's over a decade. I can't believe it's been that long already. But uh, I, lo I love this movie. It's, it's just one of those, uh, for me anyways, uh, a gem of, of discovery. I remember being surprised when I'd watched this for the first time and was very happy about that blind buy. So this came out of left field. I was not expecting this to get a Blu-ray release, much less through uh, Wild Eye. So that's cool because the DVD, that was released through Image Entertainment. So that's, that's just interesting how these movies get passed around. But I enjoy this. Uh, uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, very campy, but in a good way. Uh, so players love it i had to this is a no-brainer i had to jump on this blu-ray uh double feature here psycho kickboxer comes with canvas of blood uh both are very new to me i've been curious about psycho kickboxer for like the longest time i just uh, kind of on the fence about it even though i shouldn't with artwork like that but this is a re-release edition through shako rama so i think this is through shako rama yeah so, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, don't know what to expect. Canvas of Blood, I think that's a newer Jalo uh, movie. So. And then Pumpkins. <laughs> Again, it being October, I couldn't resist. I just was craving anything remotely Halloween themed horror. Almost. I didn't. There were a few that got released. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that. But this one I did. I was just in the mood for some low-budget slasher Halloween-themed horror. And Pumpkins delivered that. So it was an okay movie. Not too bad, but not the best either. But I couldn't resist. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Cover it. And it's just simply called Pumpkins. I, I just couldn't resist. And then one that I had been curious about, but the DVD, again, I believe it was like a double-feature DVD. It might have been an old Anchor Bay release. I could be wrong, but... I just remember the DVD being long out of print and going for stupid prices. And that's the Queen of Spades. It was doubled with another movie. I just can't remember. But um, looking forward to checking this out. So another one that's um, one of those classics that's completely new to me. So cool. And then um, I only had the first one. I didn't have uh, the first original and then the... Um, the U.S. remake. I didn't have the sequels, so it's upgrading as well as getting some new, a uh, few new movies into my collection. So, really nice box set. I've been looking forward to getting this, and um, I didn't flip it around. I really like that newly commissioned artwork. So, I'm completely new to this franchise. I don't like. I said I only seen the original and the remake. I, I have yet to uh, watch the um, originals, the sequels to the original. So. Looking forward to uh, diving in on this one. Looks to be a really nice loaded box set. So cool. Alright, getting down to it. Uh, this was a lot of fun. It was odd. It was one of those weird ones, but just a good kind of weird. It reminded me of like a um, mix between like late 80s and late 90s sort of vibe from this movie. Um, but get fun gore, um, silly, almost cringeworthy sort of scenes. A bit of it's, it's kind of cringeworthy, but uh, I enjoyed this for the most part. Satanic panic. Um, not really a dull moment in here. It doesn't really slow down. So, um, yeah, I, I dug it. I wasn't expecting too much from it. So maybe it was my low expectations that helped me out. So satanic panic. Another one of those obscure, falling through the crack, for quote unquote, forgotten uh, movies to finally get have its day, and that's happening a lot lately. So I, I'm I dig that. That's uh, awesome. 
of a scary movie. I've been another one of those uh, obscure ones I've been curious about. Finally getting a really nice edition. So looking forward to watching this for the first time. Don't really know what to expect about that one. And then I grabbed a copy of Sci-Fi Trash Orama, uh, mainly for Creature of Destruction. Um, I have a movie called It's Alive that which uses the same monster suit. So it's an interesting history about this monster suit. But I, I just didn't have Creature of Destru Destruction, so that's mainly why I grabbed this triple feature edition. Um, I do like the title, that's cool. Um, but I think I already have a copy of The Flying Saucer Mystery and UFO Target Earth. I think I already have those two movies. <clears throat> and another, like, multi-pack. Um... A nice multi-pack. I'm trying to think of the name of that one. Like, I got that one not too long ago. I believe that's Watch the Skies, but that could be some other movies in that one. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling. So I mainly got it for Creature of Destruction. Uh, finally getting one of those brutal movies that uh, it's been on my wish list for way too long. Um, copy for cheap here. Scrapbook. Um, I only have a few of this director's movies. Eric Stonzi, if I'm saying that right. So I hear this is one of those all-time classics that he made that um, you, you just have to have in your collection. So looking forward to watching this one for the first time. I've never seen it. So been on the wish list forever. So nice to finally have a copy of that one. I've been kind of holding off because it just seems like one of those indie, well-known, popular indie movies that honestly is surprised it doesn't have a Blu-ray release. I'd expect it to um, <laughs> any minute now that I have a DVD. Uh, Severance, this looks like a lot of fun. Uh, I, I hear this is um, actually pretty funny, so looking forward to checking this out. The Shining, now in 4K, definitely digging that new art. Classic movie in my book. Uh, I'm sure in a lot of your, your guys' uh, book for sure, that this being such a classic. Jack Nicholson at one of his, at his best, really, um, doing what Jack Nicholson does. So, The Shining. And then finally grabbing this one, um, I, I've been eyeing this particular edition that comes with this, um, what you call media bust um, collectible. I'm a big fan of the movie Shocker, so I've been wanting to get my hands on this because it's just so out of left field. You wouldn't expect them to do a Shocker collectible, and it's it exists, and that's crazy. Fun movie, love Wes, Craven, Wes Craven's Shocker. Uh, it just makes me laugh. Um, Mitch just, just does a good job at playing such a psychotic, funny, over-the-top. Just You can tell he's enjoying it. Um, just a lot of fun with this movie. Some memorable quotes. Killer soundtrack. I love Shocker. This is one of those movies I watched a billion times in the, nine, in the 90s. And this is just a solid piece. I was thinking the Blu-ray can maybe... It slides in there, but it doesn't. This is just a display piece only. So the movie does not come in here like most of these collectibles they, they kind of do that you can actually put the movie into the base but not not with this one i'm gonna carefully put that down that that i swear that weighs like 20 pounds it feels like it 15 because i'm a wuss but had to get the horace pinker so i can't wait to display that in the collectibles room which i will show you guys soon i'm getting that that's coming together so Continuing on, uh, Sightseers, I heard this one was uh, has that sort of uh, really good dry humor to it. Looking forward to checking this out about some couples that just sort of go around killing people and it's done in sort of a dark humor comedy kind of way. So Sightseers, had my eye on that for a while. And here's another one, uh, again, uh, bootleg through Amazon PR Studios. I just don't know when some of these movies are ever going to get released. I can I can definitely see, obviously, Mondo Macabro releasing something like this. So, The Snake Girl and the Silver-Haired Witch. Again, just one of those obscure Asian horror movies that I've just been wanting to watch for way too long, wanting to get a copy of. Um, the ending to this has just had me laughing. Um, snakes on a Train. There is some practical, so it's not all crappy CGI. I just had a lot of fun with this one. I just was in the right mood. So, grab a copy for cheap. Snakes on a Train. Uh, Starleaf, another UFO themed uh, horror film. 
and then the recent re re-released on a DVD. I don't know why this can't. Maybe they just don't. I mean, it's made for TV, like it's shot on video or something. I don't know. But Storm of the Century, one of my favorite Stephen King adaptation movies. I love Storm of the Century. It's just an all-around, well-done, made-for-TV movie. So I love it. Uh, Sudden Fear, also known as I don't remember, but completely new to me. And yep, I finally grabbed a copy of Swamp Thing. Just been on the fence, but. It's a creature feature monster movie, so I think I can be okay with adding this into my horror collection. I'm going to do that. And then I went ahead and grabbed the sequel, The Return of Swamp Thing, that I remember watching a million times growing up. So that's another one. Oh, Heather Locklear. <laughs> Talking Walls, some more erotic thriller. I've never seen it. There, I'm sure there's tons of erotic thrillers back in the 80s and 90s that I've just never seen before. So that whole subgenre is going to be very, very new to me. Uh, Talon Falls, again, another one of those horror, Halloween uh, horror-themed movies uh, dealing with um, Haunted House with killers in it. And so decent gore effects, not too bad. I enjoyed that one. That was a new one for me. Uh, finally getting around to grabbing a copy of Tapeworm, another one of those weird indie gore-filled movies I've been curious about over the years. So I got that one off of eBay. Guy selling multiple copies of that. I, get, I take it that's maybe the director himself. I don't know. And then grabbing... This was a blind buy. It just seemed interesting to me. It's simply called The Trek. Um, region A friendly. So I think it it's all region. Yeah, it's some good gore. Uh, practical effects, just uh, nasty, vicious snakes and spiders and creatures and people having to go in the jungle and that, that kind of stuff. So I had a lot of fun with this one. So The Trek. Finally, Trilogy of Terror 2. Nice to have this sequel. Mark that off the old uh, Obscure's wish list. That's what excites me. It's finally seeing movies like this have its day again. And then this is awesome. How could you not? This is one of my all-time favorite horror anthologies ever. So Two Evil Eyes. Big no-brainer. Good job. Well done, Blue Underground. This is a very sexy, nice addition. Um, I love it. The Cat Story. I love that one. That's a good one. So, no-brainer. Love this movie. And then I am completely new to Ultraman. I just gotta have more classic monster movies, so I'm looking forward to diving into this. I had uh, Ultra Q as an upgrade for me. I did have that series on DVD, and I enjoyed that seeing that for the first time a couple years back. And Ultraman, I don't. I honestly don't think I've caught. Maybe I've caught like one or two episodes when I was a kid because I do remember this guy. But yeah, it's gonna be. Com I'm going to be completely new to this series, so I'm looking forward to watching some more giant monster, you know, duke it out. So that's gonna be cool. So awesome, nice sets from uh, Mill Creek. And then Undertaker. Don't know what to expect from this one. A new one from Synapse Films. Um, looks to be shot in black and no, there's color. So yeah, Undertaker. I usually jump on what they what they release, what the company releases. So, and then Unmasked Part Twenty Five, another one that finally has its day again. So, bye bye bootleg. I did have this one on bootleg. So cool. Looking forward to checking that out. Never rented this back in the day. Um, I don't know why. I just never. So. That's nice. Uh, Vamp, I did it. I went ahead and did it just because uh, Ted Bo... How do you say his last name? Bowhouse is attached to it. That's why. And the practical effects actually look decent. But I had to. Uh, Vampire Vixens from Venus. Another one of those uh, really over-the-top hammy uh, horror spoofs. Um, I read reviews. They're not very favorable at all, but I couldn't help myself. So Vampire Vixens from Venus... Upgrade. Watch me when I watch me when I kill. Another new one from Synapse Films. Freaking loaded with special features. 
a movie, another movie I haven't seen in forever, but I, I need to check that new edition out. And then this one's getting rescued from uh, public domain. I believe this is one of those public domain movies. I've seen it. It just it's one of those gets released a million times. It almost seems like every other month. So Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory. Unless I'm thinking of Werewolf of Washington. I'm pretty sure it's this one as well. Pretty cool from Severa. Uh, Witchboard. Another one of those um, horror movies finally off my wish list. One of those Witchboard themed horrors. Heard some good things about this one as well. A uh, Woman Chasing the Butterfly of Death. Um, this one was a fun watch. I, I enjoyed watching this one. I still need to get around to the special features, though. I didn't have time for that one. But um, definitely love what uh, Mondo Macabro does. So I, I never even heard of this movie. I do hope they, hopefully they will release some more obscure Asian movies like The Beast. And um, it's another one besides The Beast. There is... Uh, Quite a few, especially some uh, shorts, um, Canton and stuff like that. It would be nice if they release those content or however you say it. Uh, the Young Cannibals. The story seemed kind of nutty about uh, eating burgers that are made from humans, and the creature can only eat is a creature that can only eat cannibals. So that's kind of weird, but. Um, Again, my brain turned to mush, and um, when looking at the title and the cover, and I had to get a, grab a copy. And then finally getting a copy of this, um, this looks to be a lot of fun. I, yeah, this is another one that I need to see. It looks a lot of cool, crazy, off-the-wall practical effects. Um, I watched the trailer again just to make sure this was the one that I had on my wish list and yeah this is definitely the one that I need to watch so finally glad to get a copy of this one I got that one for like really cheap too and Zoltan Hound of Dracula another upgrade and I don't think I ever got around to watching my DVD so I still need to watch this movie so it's my second time buying that movie and then another horror anthology a newer one uh, Zombarella's House of Horrors. That's hilarious. That's pretty clever. So I definitely like that old EC style cover art. That's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully I enjoy this one. It looks looks like it's going to be some fun. Pretty new. Just came out this year. Um, I got this one from SOVHorror.com. That's where I got that from. Okay, I was trying to remember. And that is the update, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I've got like, you know what? Ah, I don't know. I only have like a minute. I know it's going to take longer than that. I was going to do like a quick overview, but I'll do it the proper way, guys. I'll I'll do like a once I get more things ready, I will. Uh, I'll have the overview videos for you sooner, sooner rather than later. So take it easy, guys. As always, thank you for watching. You guys rock. So uh, later.